Does it pay to be the U.S. dropshipper for foreign counterfeit drug criminals? This week, one man learned the hard way that it's the most dangerous job in the organization. The dropshipper, Stefan Noach, admits to selling fake versions of name brand medications, such as Xanax, Valium, and Cialis. He did not make them, though. Noach simply fulfilled orders for offshore counterfeit criminals as their dropshipper. The manufacturers of all these fake pills remain elusive. No kingpin charges have been filed against the people at the top, though the case is ongoing. And this is not the first time we've seen the challenge of prosecuting foreign nationals on counterfeit drug crime. We've even done past episodes about this problem. Remember the Gold Pharma case? The overseas Gold Pharma site owners have been sanctioned by U.S. Treasury, but nobody has been prosecuted in criminal court. Then there are all these foreign-made counterfeit N95 masks that ended up in the hands and on the faces of frontline healthcare workers. Just in the beginning of this year, the FBI stated that it had seized about 10 million counterfeit masks in just a few weeks' time. A recent case, though, illustrates the challenges of prosecuting foreign nationals for fake drug crimes. In 2018, a father and son in Shanghai, China, were charged in U.S. court for offering dozens of different drugs, including black market cancer treatments and fentanyl analogs for sale in the U.S. They face a 43-count indictment if they ever come to the United States. The U.S. has no extradition treaty with China, so there's almost zero chance that Fu Jing and Guang Zheng will ever face U.S. justice. Their Massachusetts dropshipper, however, was caught and was sentenced to 71 months in prison for acting as their U.S. distributor. Back to our headline case, Stefan Noach is going to jail for 70 months for dropshipping for shadowy overseas drug counterfeiters. He cooperated extensively and received the blessing from the Department of Justice for a sentence reduction for his help. His employers will face no punishment yet. And until we address that enforcement gap, there's no technology, not even blockchain, that will ever make buying from foreign wholesalers safe, even if they're, let's say, Canadian. Visit our website at www.safemedicines.org.